It's that time of the year. We're talking about March Mammal Madness, and this is The Rundown. Bringing you all the highlights of the tournament, I am Lion, and I am joined by my co-host, Giraffe. Great to be here, Lion, and wishing our friend MC Marmot a speedy recovery. Well, maybe not too speedy. With MC Marmot and the Roden Roundtable on the sidelines with their notoriously biased coverage, impressive carnivores and massive herbivores will finally get some attention. Yes, those charismatic megafauna so rarely get the spotlight. Before we get into the sciency action, let's talk some March Mammal stats. This year's the lucky number 13. Yes, the 13th March Mammal Madness Tournament. That's right. And 2025 is the biggest year yet. Over 10,000 educators have signed up for March Mammal Madness with plans to use it with 900,000 learners and countless players around the world. And just look at this map of locations across the United States where at least one educator is using March Mammal Madness. Wow, a lot of people live on the East Coast. Wowza. And the game trail to the championship began tonight, with the wild card matchup between the Northern Flying Squirrel and the Flying Frog. Importantly, neither of these species can truly fly. They have to lift off, more like drop off, as they glide from tree to tree in the forest canopy. Northern Flying Squirrel has fur-covered skin membranes stretching from ankle to wrist that gives them more surface area for defying gravity. The squirrels are basically their own parachute. You think that's wild? Flying Frog's main trait for gliding are membranes between their long fingers and toes, like four individually opening parachutes. With Flying Frog living in the tropical rainforests in Asia and Northern Flying Squirrel in temperate forests of North America, the coin flip for home habitat advantage could make a big difference. And that's just what happened. Northern Flying Squirrel won the coin toss, placing the battle in the northern boreal forest. The nocturnal squirrel had just glided down to the forest floor from his daytime nest to begin foraging when Flying Frog was parachuted into the scene. But it was death from below, as the larger squirrel, after a long winter of lichen, took the opportunity for fresh meat. Usually, Northern Flying Squirrel has to wait until springtime for some eggs and nestlings. Well, I can't say I was expecting carnage the first night of March Mammal Madness, but there you have it. Northern Flying Squirrel wins the bid into the big show. If you want all the details, check out the free MMM magazine at the Lib Guide linked in the description. And what a show it will be. In the coming weeks, we'll be giving a quick rundown of each night of tournament action. And it won't just be Giraffe and me. We'll have some extra guest commentators this 2025 season. Let's meet the lineup. All right, this is Boy back in action. Hi, Giraffe. Hey, big kitty. Marsupial correspondent, ready, rock, steady. Did you notice my pocket? Pockets are the best. Tuxedo style. Oh, yeah. I know I'm supposed to be formal, but hope you don't mind. I can't fall behind on my daily bamboo intake. 2024 champion represent! No one else wanted to be the poop, so I get to be the poop. Oh, hi everyone! I'll be showing up for special segments of Poop Science, where talking poop talks poop. I'm Octopus, and take it from me, home habitat advantage is a big deal. Well, there you have it. Thank you for joining us at The Rundown. We're two days away from round one of the Only Ones division. Some really exciting species in that division, but the match to watch will be that 8 seed, 9 seed matchup between the Spotted Neck Otter versus the Tyra. Until next time, good night and good luck. Remember, in March Mammal Madness, if you're learning, you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
Yeah, March Mammal Madness It's going down 65 species from all around Thurl's deer, polar bear Taking the crown Adax and Ginkgo They're battle bound If you're learning, you're winning Species battling, no one spinning Home habitat's the first round spin But traits take over when the league begins Zorilla, flying snake, they're coming through Moon rat and fern got something to prove Tree of life, they're fighting for the throne Who's gonna make this tournament their own? First three rounds, home field's your friend But elite trade, final roar, that's where legends send Number one seeds might fall today Unexpected champs gonna have their say If you're learning, you're winning What? Species battling, no one spinning out Survival skills put to the test March Mammal Madness, who's the best? 65 and up, but only one stage March Mammal Madness, scientific ways 